just a minute. We'll just wait for a few minutes. And thank you so much for joining us today for the Q&A session for Frankfurter Buchmesse 2020. My name is Catherine Grun. I am the head of communications here at Frankfurter Buchmesse and I will run you through the session. Before I introduce you to the panelists, let me just start by giving you a few um, hints how, how this will go today. First of all, we are recording the session, so we will provide you with the link afterwards and we will also uh, have the link on our website so you can take a look uh, afterwards or share with your colleagues if you wish. Um, also, I'd like to tell you that you are muted, um, so if you have mm -hmm. questions, um, please ask them in the Q&A field that you see here below. So if you could use that for your written questions and I will read those aloud then and, and we will answer them. Um, also, right now, we are waiting for Jürgen Boos, the director of Frankfurt Book Fair, who will join us shortly. And um, in the meanwhile, please let me introduce you to the panelists for today. Uh, welcome, Gabi rauch -Kner, Vice President, Fair Management at Frankfurter Buchmesse. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, welcome, Ruth Kumpmann, the Director of Key Account Management here at Frankfurt. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, welcome, Andrea Fiala, the Director of Customer Management here at Frankfurt Book Fair. Good morning. Morning, and welcome Hendrik Hellige, the director, business development, uh, children's mm -hmm. books and visual culture. Hi there. Good morning. There you are. Uh, and just a bit oh, later, we will also be joined by oh. by um, Claudia Kaiser, the uh, vice president, business development for the Asian regions. Let me check again. Oh, and Jürgen is here. He joined us just. Thank you. Um, good morning, Jürgen. Yeah, good morning to everybody. Yeah, uh, and I will just hand over to you, Jürgen, for a short um, welcome remarks. Yeah, hello to everybody. I don't know where you are in the world, so it might be afternoon already. Um, for us, it's very important to talk to you about this year's Frankfurt. We've been fighting a lot that it can take place, and under uh, Germany's health regulations, I'm sure we can deliver a very focused, um, B2B book fair to all of you. It's going to be a very special edition, that's how we call it, because there will be some changes. Some larger publishers' houses are not going to build their own stands, but going to send their rights people. And uh, also, we are aware that a lot of uh, collective stands are going to be a lot larger this year, because um, they offer a lot of possibilities to exhibitors to, to come to Frankfurt this year. We are seeing also some uh, restrictions on travel, maybe in, still in October. So also this will mean there will be a different fair. But this means also that we are working on our virtual offering, especially in the, in the field of rights. We are going to offer uh, different tools for everybody and we are going to announce this in the next few weeks. We are also going to um, start uh, having our own literature festival online, but also in the city of Frankfurt. So, so uh, there are many, many activities this year you can look forward to. But now we would like to give you further information how it's going to look like. And I would like to hand over probably to Gabi. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, yes. And we will show you a presentation now with the concept. Thank you for sharing this, this with us. <clears throat> we would like to present the Frankfurter Buchmesse concept 2020, our special edition and start with, a, with an overview for the con of the concept or the general concept, focusing on the hygiene and safety concept and give you some information on the timeline, which are quite important because um, time has advanced now and we are really looking forward to, you, to your feedback on our concept. Let's start with the general. Yeah. Thank you. Um, on the fairgrounds, you will see a European, B, mostly European B2B trade fair. Um, but although it won't be the same number as in, previous, as in past years, there will be overseas participation. Digital B2B offerings and B2C offerings will add to these. And we are working on an alternative event concept for the for the readers for the weekend starting 
on Friday, well, let's say afternoon, Friday evening. <clears throat> this will be on the fairgrounds and in the city at the same time, there will be predominantly B2C events, maybe some also B, some B2B um, events as well, but the focus will be on B2C um, at various locations and always following the applicable uh, hygiene and distancing, social distancing rules. These events will be decentralized, as I said, at various locations and multifaceted. Next. So we show here a plan of the fairgrounds and you will see that um, this year we concentrate on halls three, four and six. We start in hall three. Um, there you will find almost as usual, um, the fiction and non-fiction, predominantly German language publishers, but also from the field of um, juvenile and um, young adult media, um, which are predominantly German, but also um, if you would like to present there internationally, that's also possible, of course. Um, the focus on the first floor is also on fiction and nonfiction, and in addition, which is new this year, on arts and design, art books and design, but also tourism, uh, religion, um, well, and apart from that, fiction and nonfiction. The audio um, collective stands will also be on the first floor this year. In Hall 4, um, the major change you will find is that um, the academic and professional publishers will move from the second floor of Hall 4 to the ground floor. And there they will be neighboring exhibitors from Middle and Eastern Europe, also from Scandinavia and the Netherlands, Belgium. And on the first floor, you will find exhibitors from France, Italy, Spain, Latin America, um, but also from um, Africa and um, the Arab world, and not to forget Turkey and Greece. And in hall six, we will start on the ground floor um, and accommodate their English speaking, English language publishers and also exhibitors from Asia. And on the first floor, we will um, have the Literary Agent Center, which will this year for the first time also be open to um, other publishers who would like to send their rights representatives. Um, so this will be um, extraordinarily this year open for other publishers as well. And um, we could also be um, have more exhibitors on the first floor. So in case we don't um, use the whole hall 6-1 for the literary agents, there will be more space for exhibition. Hall one might be used um, for a very spacious entrance situation to accommodate all um, the infrastructure we might need for um, obeying, for ad adhering to all the um, distancing rules and also to make sure that um, medical staff um, can be contacted directly at the entrance areas. Thank you. Next, I hope I didn't forget some information there. How could you participate? Of course, you're free to use all, or to book all kind of formats you, um, you know already. You can have um, your own stand, but you can also have our system, use our system stand, um, or come back to um, one of these packages we offer you in form of, um, well, complete packages, actually. But we do expect that more publishers, more exhibitors will come or come back to our system stands, which makes it much more, much easier for you to, um, to present, to prepare for the fair. Maybe, um, so you really have to um, think about, rethink the kind of your participation and we will be happy to help you and, um, and give you advice on which is the most suitable way for you, for your staff to be in Frankfurt. Um, there might be some special requirements for stand, um, for stand construction. 
um, but everything is concentrated on allowing for um, um, for the hygiene and um, distancing rules to be um, obeyed to, to be adhered to. Um, the smallest stand size we will offer this year is no longer four square meters, but it is now eight square meters. So we um, add to any size, to any stand size, a number of um, free of charge square meters to allow you to adhere to these distancing rules. So you, you can see how much it is here. The, the larger your stand, the larger is the number of additional square meters which we provide free of charge to you. Next. This is a completely new format um, because we thought if you don't want to send your staff all over the fair, this might be a possibility to have a workspace and to have a place where you can meet with your um, meeting partner. Um, it's a kind of open co-working space with um, Wi-Fi, of course. Um, you sit at long tables and have your, um, you have one seat for yourself and one for your guest. And all this will obey to the hygiene rules. Uh, for instance, with a plexi glass in the middle of you for um, to further um, decrease the risk of infection. We will offer this kind of working space in every hall, on every hall level, um, but it will, not, um, um, it, it will not be instead of the International Library Center or the academic business hubs. Um, these will remain. So this offer for a workspace is in addition to the usual or to the um, normal library, library centers and the business hubs you already know. They are bookable, this is new with working space, they are bookable in single full days. So you can decide coming on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or the weekend. And we think about changing this format during the weekend into a B2C format. Um, but we mean this, um, this offering is meant just as a first time, for first time customers, as an, um, as an initial experience, for instance, or for exhibitors um, that must forego, who must forego a stand this year. Next. <clears throat> yeah, may I tell you something about our cancellation policy? Um, we really try to make our cancellation policies um, as easy as and comfortable for you as possible. So that makes your planning in these times a bit more um, easy. So in the case that we as the organizers have to cancel our physical um, Frankfurter Buchmesse, um, for whatever reason, you will get 100% of your stand rental um, back. Um, in case that you decide to cancel your physical um, presence, um, by 15th of August, it's also 100% of the stand rental you get uh, back from us. Um, after the 15th of August, as you may imagine that we have to plan our normal terms and condition will um, uh, take place and uh, but of course if you if you're an exhibitor from a, a country which has travel restrictions by then which at the moment is not uh, not clear yet then um, we try to be as flexible as possible um, in case you decide that you're coming and but you need to um, reduce or enlarge also your um, stand. Um, that's also without any um, fee for you. Um, also, if you, if you decide to change your physical presence uh, from a custom built stand to a system stand, which might be easier and with uh, less costs this year, then that's also possible without any fee, of course. Um, and last but not least, in case you already paid um, something uh, from the first um, invoice, of course, and um, you can decide and you will not take uh, 
will not take your stand this year, you can decide if you will be um, refunded um, this amount or we can also use it for the next uh, book fair for your stand. Okay, and next. Um, <clears throat> Um, um, <laughs> do it, um, ha, um, working with a new con concept, thinking about a new concept, of course, for the physical fair in these times, we also had to think about our big event areas and, uh, and different stages we normally offer. And so we had to decide which of these stages um, we, can, um, we can offer you at the physical fair in this special edition or which of these we have to transform into other formats of our digital products. We will tell you later on more about that. So that means that you can imagine that for these new um, circumstances, we cannot um, have the bigger um, stages like the Gourmet Gallery, where we had the, 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 the big uh, cooking shows, the Weltempfang for our political debates, the two big stages of our broadcasting companies, RLD and ZDF, then also the um, cultural presentation of the guest of honor in the forum will not take place at the physical fair. Then our Frankfurt Pavilion, which we had for the last two years, this UFO at the Agora, you may remember, and our traditional reading tent, which we had, I don't know, for many, many uh, years at the Agora with all the different uh, readings booked by you at the, our exhibitors. Mm -hmm. What is possible um, at the fair this year is, of course, we have, uh, you can rent conference rooms um, for whatever event or also bigger meetings you plan. Then uh, new, we have the workspaces. My colleague uh, Gavi told you about it. Um, we have, as in the former years, um, some of our collective stands. Um, the first one is for um, independent publishers where you can um, showcase um, single titles. We have an audio collective stand and we have our area for stationery and gifts. Then we have the um, International Library Center as usual, and we have our business launches in audio, edu, and academic. What will be new this year is well, what we plan to have is a broadcasting center. So this broadcasting center, um, if you go to the next slide, please, will be the stage of the Frankfurt Book Fair 2020. Um, you can see here, it, we plan to have it at the Festhalle. You may remember that the Festhalle we used last year for the first time for the agent center, and that was a big success because it's a very nice um, hall. So we, <clears throat> and you can go to the next slide, please. Sorry for my. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we plan. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> We plan to have this as a bridge between the physical fair and um, our digital opportunities. I'm sorry, <clears throat> that somebody else can take over. I'm yes, sorry. sure, sure. So we intend um, to bridge the gap between the physical fair and the digital uh, offerings we have by using um, or by making this festhalle as um, the most, so the main event stage for this year's Frankfurt Book Fair. And it will offer opportunities for publishers and media to um, provide um, the program. Um, the program will be curated in, um, in close cooperation with us. And uh, there will probably be live broadcast by the German uh, TV and Arte as well. And um, so following the distancing rules, um, a small and maybe not even a small number, but even a larger number of um, people can also experience a live event and the program there. Tickets, that's the idea at the moment, tickets will be raffled off. Um, there will be live streaming of the entire program. Um, and of course the formats may be um, 
may present authors, um, new releases, um, authors galas. So there is um, um, there's much opportunity, many opportunities to um, to broadcast from this main stage um, into the world. Perhaps I may add. Sorry, perhaps I may add that we will have a call for ideas, so every exhibitor can um, give us um, you, you can give us your ideas by mid of July, and so we will have an international cultural festival on on one day on the Saturday of the fair, and it uh, it's planned to to be started in the morning by um, by our Asian um, customers and then goes to the European and German. Um, audience uh, during the day and should end up uh, with the US customers uh, by midnight German um, time. So that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Next. Yeah. Um, so the hygiene and, and safety concept um, has been or was developed, has been developed by Messe Frankfurt, um, medical experts in close cooperation with Frankfurter Buchmesse. It has been approved by the local health authorities. And of course, we will adapt this hygiene concept according to any further, to any future development or any further requirements. So we really want to make sure that you um, not only minimize your economic risk particip with our participation um, offerings, but also minimize any health risks. Next. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to take over. <laughs> Um, the basis of all our regulations um, is uh, the social distancing. So we will allow you to have safe business meetings by keeping at the same time the distance of 1.5 meter to other persons. And how we will, uh, how will we achieve this? Unfortunately, we have to limit the number of visitors per day. Um, we will have a crowd management measures. We will have visitor controls by staff and by videos at the entrances and within the halls. And we will use signage and floor markings. Um, in Germany, we are already used to it. Um, we will can find them in supermarkets, bookstores, in museums and things like that. Um, our security staff um, will keep an eye on whether people are sticking to the rules or not. And last but not least, um, it's very important that everybody keeps uh, responsibility and um, yeah. for themselves, yeah. for themselves and for the others. Yeah. Next, please. Next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of practical measures have we taken to enable you to keep social distancing? First of all, we have expanded the width of the aisles to six uh, between eight meters. Normally, our aisles are three meters wide. We will have in each hall wide entrance areas. And as Gabi already mentioned earlier, the minimum stand size will be eight square meters. In addition to the three square meters to every stand, um, we will add uh, additional space between um, your stands and the aisles, which you can use as a waiting area or discussion space. space. And um, we will collect the special requirements for exhibitor stand construct construction and access requirements on our website. So there you can find detailed information about that. Next one. Um, here you can find an example um, of Hall 3.0. Uh, you can see that we have pretty much space, uh, space between stands and blocks and the lines in light gray, for example, they, these lines are symbolizing the communication strips I mentioned earlier. Next one, please. Uh, here again, you have a 3D visualization of system stands and the aisles with people in standing in the aisles. So maybe with this picture, um, you can better realize the change in comparison to last year's. Next one. And um, the measures we are taking um, 
do not only refer to the halls, but as well to your arrival um, and to the entry to the fairground. Um, at the entrances, we will have white spaces. Gabi mentioned it earlier, for example, at the entrance city, we will use hall one for the admission controls. And we can as well um, open additional entrances if needed. One major change is uh, that we won't have on-site ticket sales. We will use only online pre-sale of tickets. And last but not least, we are in close cooperation uh, with a public transport company. And they are um, establishing a concept on how to avoid crowding within the public transport and at the stations. Of course, there are further measures to reduce the infection risk. For instance, physical barriers from plexiglass um, at counters, meeting on meeting tables and at information desks. Um, there will be a mandatory use of face or face masks or face shields, depending on the regulation at that time. So um, what will, um, yeah, at that time in, in October. Um, the, we will improve the ventilation of halls to make sure that there is um, as much fresh air as possible. And we'll have a gastronomy um, predominantly in the outdoor areas, but also in within the halls, um, there will be um, food and, and drinks, of course. And it will also be possible to um, to offer that at your stands, but there are some uh, advice we would like to give um, for that. Next, please. Um, of course, we would like to recommend to pass objects back and forth between people. So one direction- To avoid passing them, right? To avoid, yeah. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, there will be some rules for using escalators and elevators. Um, there will be a um, special clearing, cleaning concept for stands, for halls and the whole infrastructure, um, particularly um, toilets, of course. And the fair will provide fixed and also mobile hand sanitation dispensers. Um, there will be lots of signage explaining the distancing uh, and hygiene rules, of course. And um, as I said, there will also be rules for catering at your stand, but it will be possible to cater your guests. Um, and you know all that, avoid shaking hands and wash your hands as often as possible. Next, please. Um, there is, of course, medical support. And um, we would like you before, to, before entering the fair, so it must not be older than 24 hours before you enter the fair, that you ask a couple of um, simple questions. Um, <clears throat> for instance, um, whether you feel any symptoms of um, a COVID-19 infection or whether you might have been in contact with an infected person. So if you answer these questions with yes, then we would ask you um, to present yourself for a further clearing. And for that, um, we will have um, medical staff in the entrance areas. And of course, also you could call them in advance at a medical hotline, which we will offer for all participants. And of course, we will have a first aid station and medical care on the spot, which would also allow for tests. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Um, this is also very important because we would like to make sure to know at any time who is on the fairgrounds in order to make sure that in case of infection, um, there might be a contact tracing. So that's why we really ask you to fully register and also give us your um, details where we can reach you for the two weeks to come. And in case of, higher, of a higher risk, um, then we would of course prepare additional um, protection measures in order to cope with that. And this can, for instance, mean that 
um, that temperature screenings would be um, implemented. So these are all measures and as I said, we will ad adjust this concept to any further development or requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the timeline. Um, we will start as of 22nd of June on this, with a stand allocation. And we are planning to send out on the 15th of July a mailing um, with your stand numbers and the floor plan. So I think now we are happy to answer all your questions. And by the end of June, we will uh, we will advise more on the digital formats that that we are planning. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much for for running us through this presentation. And I already do have some questions here, both in the chat and in the Q and A uh, section. So I will start with the chat. Um, Anne Bergmann is asking us about the security rules. What happens if a hall level has reached maximum capacity? Will you have to wait outside? And if you have a meeting? Of course, we would try to uh, monitor um, the crowdness in a hall to an extent that won't force us or won't oblige us to, um, to close a hall. Um, but the number of participants will be that of a usual, of a regular trade show. So we do not assume in first instance that we would have to close down a hall. Thank you. I'm moving to the Q&A um, area now. Uh, Tina Kruniniva asking, good morning. I'd like to ask, what is your anticipated footfall for this year compared to previous years? So how many people are you expected at the fair? So we expect at the moment, we expect um, um, a number of about 20,000 um, participants per day. Right, so 20,000 can be on the premises at any given time. Okay, thank you. Um, a question from Tiziano Strambini. How many people in total at the stand compared to size at the same time? Will the organization give guidelines in that regard? Yes, um, the most important thing is to adhere to these 1.5 meters. But if you want to have a rough... Um, scale, then you could calculate about four to five square meters per, per person. So, and um, maybe the first step would be to decide, so how many um, of our staff members would travel to Frankfurt um, and then um, add an, a relevant number of guests and that will fix or give you a range of the stand size you might need. In addition, you will also be able to um, to use these um, uh, the working spaces, of course, which could enlarge your um, space for for a day, for instance. So, if you have more meetings for on the Wednesday or Thursday, you might also think about um, having in addition a space um, at one of these working spaces. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tina Kruniniva, uh, are you moving any aspects of the event online for those who can't or won't travel? Yes, as I mentioned before, we will communicate the uh, digital formats by the end of June. Um, and of course, we will have digital formats both for the B2B um, clientele mm -hmm. and, and the B2C. And would any one of you expand, Hendrik, maybe? Yes. Um, 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 of course, many people can't come um, because they won't or they can't come to the fair. So uh, we try to, um, uh, we, in the B and, uh, B2B sector, we try to uh, uh, fulfill most of the needs uh, for the fair as well in digital, which means that we are um, concentrating on all the things that you can't do uh, regularly um, next to a fair, like the normal business um, is already going on uh, despite the corona uh, crisis. So we um, concentrate on matchmaking and um, the possibility that you can present your, your publications to new customers. And of course, we also will have um, 
digital rooms, where you can, like a digital Frankfurter Hof, so you can uh, meet people by accident, what, which is one of the main reasons um, to come to Frankfurt um, to explore the publishing world on your own, not only by, um, by guided, um, um, by guided uh, events. So, so serendipity factor, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. And maybe um, what is important uh, about our digital, um, um, uh, our digital um, things we are setting up, um, of course, this year it's mainly to um, um, give all the trade visitors and publishers that can't come a chance to join Frankfurt. But in general, it's a, it's a longer lasting concept because uh, many of these um, of the things that we are just setting up will um, also be available after the fair uh, all over the year. So I think um, this fair is um, in the long term is, is changing um, uh, things with us uh, into, into a digital direction. Thank you. I have a question here from Gina Marie Martinez. Will there be exhibitor options in the virtual space if not physically attending the live conference? Yes, I, I suppose you answered that already. Um, Queen, P, Queen P is asking, we have booked four square meter space. Is that, does that mean the space is automatically changed to be eight square meters? Yes, you will automatically have eight square meters plus um, this um, communication or waiting area in front of your stand of 1.5 meters on the length of your stand. So there, are, um, so the space of a eight square meter stand then gives you room for three persons. So um, that's a rough calculation. Thank you. Irina Gribanova asks, hi for B2B publishers, are they asked to be staying at the fair on, on the Saturday and Sunday or would they be able to leave uh, the booth empty for the weekend? I think it depends on whether you are participating in a collective stand, which is um, of course um, being um, staffed for the whole weekend. Um, don't forget that there are a lot of visitors in Frankfurt who are really, who come from abroad, who come from foreign countries and who are really interested in having and reading and getting um, to reach international literature and their mother tongue. And um, you could also think about booking one of the options which allow you to stay for one of the days. So for instance, in the Literary Agent Center or have a space at one of our working um, our working spaces. Thank you. I have a question from Ascolis here. Would it be possible to book a table at the agent center instead of a stand? We sell and buy rights. Thank you. Yes, yes. for this year it will be possible and we are opening the agent center for rights uh, staff. Okay, thank you. Rebecca is asking us, hi, good morning would like to ask about the furniture packages for the stand. With the bigger area now, will there be changes to the furniture package too? For example, wider tables. Um, there will be, we, we will have, we have adopted the packages, um, but I must admit at the moment that I'm not sure about the details. The table size will be the same, but um, there will be an additional um, plexiglass um, shield um, where this minimum space cannot be uh, adhered to. So there will be um, adoptions, there will be adaptions of the furniture packages and the details um, will be uh, find in our um, information sheet, which we had um, on our wax, which we have on our website. In some packages, uh, we will have less chairs than normally. Mm -hmm. For instance, yeah. Thank you. Rosa Maria Pavan is asking, I have heard that many German publishers and other big ones are going to cancel their participation. Is it still possible that you decide to cancel the exhibition? Jürgen, would you like yeah, to answer? It took me a <laughs> second to start my microphone. No, we don't plan to cancel the exhibition. <laughs> no, we don't plan to cancel the Facebook fair. And even the large publishing houses are planning to send uh, their people it's only about the stand building. 
or some of them are going to use the collective stands. Yeah, we have, you know that we have more than 70 collective stands in Frankfurt and all of them plan to attend. There might, the only uh, moment we would think about canceling uh, the Frankfurt Book Fair is if we're going to have, uh, if we would have a second wave of the virus. Mm. But right now, the people we've been talking to, the health authorities, are not expecting the second wave. So we can go on with Frankfurt. Thank you. I have a question from Tiziano Strambini. Opening hour for exhibitors, uh, what, or what kind of opening hours for exhibitors is anticipated given there will be longer queues or it might take longer at the entrance? At the moment, we are planning with the same um, and regular opening hours, but of course we would expect exhibitors to really come earlier. You know, you're admitted at um, from eight o'clock on. Maybe we might think about open um, a bit earlier. Um, we would uh, keep you informed about this, but at the moment we are sticking to the same opening hours as usual. And of, uh, sorry, and um, and we'll cope with the entrance situation, of course, by using um, more spacious, um, more spacious halls, and also by preparing um, the ticket um, by having all these registration procedures in advance, so that ideally um, you can just present your ticket and enter the fair. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Another question from uh, Queen Kui. Uh, relative to with the social distance, do we open to public on Saturday and Sunday as before, please? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, we do. Um, but as um, the days before, the maximum number of guests on the fairgrounds is our, um, that's what we stick to. And um, if it's less trade visitors on the weekend, it will be more public instead of that. Thank you. Tina Kruniniva asking from previous experience when we attended in 2019, certain parts of the premises require physically opening doors, such as the restroom corridor and further into the restrooms. Will this be considered somehow so people can avoid touching the same door handles many times? Yes, so wherever possible, we will make sure that doors may um, are open. Uh, it's always depending a bit on some other safety regulations, but wherever we can avoid um, and help you avoid contact, um, we will do that. Thank you. Rosa Maria Pavan, are you, do you already have a plan to convert all the book fair in digital? If yes, when will you decide? So we are not going to convert the book fair into digital only. <laughs> Yeah, cannot we be see, converted. <laughs> yeah, we see the book fair as a mixture, a combination out of virtual offerings and uh, presence in Frankfurt. We're also going to host events all over Germany this year, together with a lot of partners with the bookstores, literary houses. And in the years to come, we probably will also have satellites all over the world where we do similar events. So the book fair will change in the years to come. And it's going to be more virtual, but still there's going to be a strong presence and the fairground in Frankfurt and the city of Frankfurt. I would like to add um, the digital possibilities will um, uh, give um, small, uh, smaller publishing houses or trade visitors that normally can't come to Frankfurt um, the possibility to join us uh, in a digital way, which uh, makes us quite happy because um, for different reasons, um, people sometimes can't come to Frankfurt and we are welcome them digitally, not only this year, but in the uh, years to come. Thank you. We have a question here regarding to the, um, to the words B2B and B2C. What exactly does that mean? B2B means business to business and B2C means business to customer. So I hope that answers it. So thank you. Um, good morning. Attending the digital book fair, is it free to publishers and agents? Asks Elina Albach. It's going to be free for uh, exhibitors and our trade visitors. And we're also working on, a, on an offer for, our, um, for people who won't be able to attend. Mm -hmm. 
Hendrik, do you want to add anything here? No. no not yet. All right. Thank you. Um, okay. Good morning. What will the price be for using the new working spaces? And is it possible to reserve at site? Um, it will cost um, 495 euros per day. And um, reservation on the spot will depend on availability. So, of course, we would prefer um, um, make reservations earlier. But if space is available, of course, that would be possible. Mm -hmm. So, 495 per day. Thank you. Rachel Pitcock is asking us, please, can you elaborate on the costings of the virtual offerings compared to the physical stand costs? Um, as you said, um, for, um, with, uh, and uh, for uh, exhibitors and trade visitors that will uh, visit Frankfurt, um, the digital um, offerings are a free um, addition to their um, uh, physical appearance. For the um, pure digital um, uh, exhibitors and, and visitors, uh, we're still working um, on, on, the, on the concrete, on the, on the exact um, concept and price that will be uh, communicated towards the end of June. So, um, but it will, um, it will be in, in, um, um, close to um, or normal um, what we offer um, otherwise and um, also in, in, in balance to what other um, events, uh, digital events are, um, are offering. Thank you. Anastasia Gameta asks, regarding avoiding passing objects from one person to another, will we still be allowed to, to place books on the stand, to display books on the stands, or should they be replaced by some type of individual materials like booklets or advertising material? Thank you. No, absolutely not. You should exhibit your books as usual. Um, what is meant by this um, handing to other persons is exchanging between persons back and forth, back and forth. So this is meant so that one object isn't being touched um, so many times from uh, from the same people to same people to exchange from the same persons. Excuse me, um, to exchange uh, or to um, increase the infection risk. Um, but um, you can imagine the situation as it is now in any bookshop, for instance. You will be able to uh, hand over your books, um, to sign books, um, all this will be possible. To leave through them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Anieszka Urbanowska, what will the deadline for submitting the stand design for custom built stands? So the deadline for custom built stands. You caught me by that. Um, I'm not sure at the moment, but we will provide you with the date. It will be later than usually. We have already, already talked about um, putting this um, date a bit further in the future, um, but we will have to l let you know individually. Thank you. Uh, Bipin Shah asking, are you also offering the business club membership? Will this be on a daily basis or for the full fair? Um, no, this year we won't offer the business club. You, um, you have known before. Um, we will have the business units um, in the academic um, and professional part of the exhibition. Um, and other business hubs, but um, the business club in the um, conference rooms Europe um, at Hall 4 Ground Zero um, will not be offered this year. Thank you. I have a question from Esther Serra. Uh, presential and online will take place at the same time. So if we attend the fair, will we have the chance to present our catalogs digitally as well? Of course, that's sure. part of yeah. the digital concept. Um, as I said before, the um, um, many um, digital offerings will um, uh, will go on after the fair, uh, so you can use, um, especially um, the kind of passive, um, like a catalog and, and uh, addresses. Um, you can use them all over the year, but. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, for the for the uh, time of the fair, we have um, especially the offerings of all the um, of all the events. Like when we um, have topics that has have to be to be discussed and the meetings and matchmakings that will take place at the same time. Your presentation um, um, of the of your publications uh, will start uh, with the fair, but will go on afterwards. So because we all experience that digital fatigue and especially publishers that are physically there uh, and have a digital component it's of course quite a lot so what we tried digitally is to be very compact very to the point and not um, overroll you with, with too much events but be pretty precise and uh, uh, because we think we want to start at the fair with the digital stuff to give you an orientation, but it will go on afterwards. So um, there is no stress that you will miss out anything because um, it goes on after the fair. Thank you. For all those of you who have joined us later, just um, let me tell you that this uh, record, this session is will be recorded. We are recording it, in fact, right now, and we will um, give, provide you with it so you can you can take a look at all the other questions that have been asked um, in the past uh, half an hour. A question from Tina now: Will additional cleaning or dis disinfection will be carried out in the venue uh, every day and after every day? Yes, of definitely. Yes, we can assure you of that. The, the cleaning measurements will be uh, will be expanded, I would say. Right, Gabi? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. absolutely. This is a very important part of the um, hygiene concept, of course. Yes. Now, I think this is a question that everyone wants to know. Will parties at the stand be allowed? <laughs> <laughs> well, difficult to answer at the moment. For the time being, I would say, hmm, might be a bit difficult. Um, but being but actually, together, Gabi, yeah. Think of Frankfurt this year as a large bookstore. Yeah. Yeah. And when you can have parties in bookstores, you can have par parties in Frankfurt. <laughs> so we want to do everything for for parties to to be possible at the stairs and of course yes, the the measurements have have to be kept in mind of course yes um i have another question for the business club what will be the difference between the business club and the workspaces asks bipin chong um so the business club you can book in there um no, sorry. The business club was for the whole duration of the fair, was for the whole duration of the fair in the past and offered you um, a kind of lounge. Um, the workspaces are um, really meant for giving you a place where you can work and have a meeting with another partner, with another um, a member, with another participant. Um, it's in any in every floor there's one in every floor so it's um, spread more widely you can have this kind of working space next to your um, next to the um, exhibition area where you feel at home let's say um, or where you would like to meet your customers um, and it's um, more like a well it's long benches it's more basic i would say and more concentrated um, and of course much less expensive um, yeah it's more basic actually it's um, con it concentrates on the focuses on the on the possibility on the opportunity to to have a meeting there and have a spot where you can work um, a spot on your for your own so you will have a specific uh, desk there and um, a place for your a place opposite for your uh, conversation partner can also be used for interviews for instance or um, as i said we um, we are still working on a concept for using it on the weekend because you could move these tables and um, we are just we are creative about this as well Thank you. 
Gregory Massina, a, a couple of questions coming up now regarding the, the LITAC. Um, good morning for buying and selling rights. It is time consuming for us to schedule appointments for the fair and scheduling starts typically in July. This year, it will be even more complicated because we don't know who will be attending. Is there a way to create some sort of database or list open to everyone that we can add our names to in order to confirm our attendance? It can be very simple, listing our names, companies and contact info. Yes, we are going to have this information and everybody can upload its personal data, but we're also going to offer a rights repository, a rights catalog for you. And we're going to offer a scheduling tool and also a video conferencing tools as well as some informa um, information channel. And uh, Katrin said it before, we are going to uh, launch all of this end of June, so you will be able to get further information then. And we're going to open it up um, a few weeks before the book fair, so everybody has uh, the time to upload its data and also to get um, used to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A question from Anna Spadolini. Good morning. Thank you for this session. What about the LITAC, please? I know the fair plans to have a whole hall reserved to it, but this will possibly require more time for editors to move to and into the hall and for us agents to go from and to the LITAC in order to meet client publishers who have stands, which may lead to reduced number of meetings. What are your thoughts, please? Right now we are planning to host the Agent Center in Hall 6, so it's even closer to our international mm -hmm. exhibitors. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to lose any time there. Yeah. Thank you. And I also have a question regarding the prices. What is the price of a table in the Agent Center for a publisher? It's going to be the same pricing as we have for the agents, but I can't tell you right now what uh, the, I don't know by heart what the pricing is. But I think it's around it about 800 euros, euros per table. Yeah, that's about it. And it also depends on, on how many, many tables you take, but one table is about 800 euros. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, Christine Chong, Chong is asking us, uh, should all our pavilion events be held virtually instead of holding them physically? No, you can hold them, uh, some of them actually in the halls or outside on the Agora, but also we are going to offer conference rooms and other rooms for uh, as long as they are available, but you will be able to, um, to do readings on the fair, so there's a lot of options. Mm. Thank you. Um, a question from Anna Spadolini. Will digital offerings include networking and matchmaking opportunities? And I think, yes, Jung answered that, and yes, they will. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have a question here. We are a B2B company who works with publishers. We did a quick survey of some possible meetings for FBF last week. Many past att attendees are waiting on committing to see who else will be there. Is there any way you can help companies like us make a decision before a cutoff deadline? Say yes, please decide now and say yes, and then others will come as well. Be the first mover. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't be the first, but um, mm -hmm. it's a hen and egg thing. And I think um, it's important to take a decision first. Yeah, we are going to publicize on, and give our press releases um, um, every, I don't know, two, three weeks. So we keep you updated on, on what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we will also have these Q and A sessions. Um, once the by the end of June, there will be scheduled another one for all the digital nice. things. So we will keep you informed on a very um, regular basis. Yes, uh, will the slide deck presented be available? Yes, we can share that slide deck with you. No problem at all. Um, may I ask when the finalized detailed cancellation policy fee will be announced? Is it going to be announced soon? Asks Yoshiaki Yoshino. I, mean, I, I think I, I informed about the cancellation uh, policy and um, I mean that, that is the kind of announcement. We will not have a press kit about it. But, um, mm -hmm. 
if you talk to us and to your um, our colleagues in the in the customer um, care center, then it will be explained to you in detail for your special case, of course. Thank you. Will face masks be mandatory? And if so, will the organization provide them? Ask Tiziano Strambini. So that will depend on um, the time in October, what the situation will be then. So if the fair would be would start tomorrow, I would say yes, would be um, man obligatory. Um, we would ask you to provide your own mask because it's very individual which kind of uh, mask is perfect, is perfectly sweet, you, sweet suit you. Um, but of course, we will also um, have masks at hand or offer them for sale or I don't know, but actually we will provide masks as well. Thank you. Um, now, uh, again, coming back to the stand size and how many people will be allowed at the stand. Um, do you have recommendations to how many people maximum for each exhibitor organization attending the stand as per size of the stand? Could you? That's what we already said. I think it's around four square meters per person. So that's how you can count it. Four to five, yeah. yeah. But include the additional communication space in front of your stand which can be used uh, from, from your staff, which um, the only thing is the restriction is that you may not, po um, um, may not put there any furniture or um, table or so, no? but you can use it in addition to your stand. Thank you. Um, I have a question here. If we plan booking meetings with publishers for the digital FBF, when ideally would we start? Um, <clears throat> as I try to explain, um, the physical and the digital affair are going on at the same time and we are uh, really um, um, weaving them into each other. So. Um, um, mm -hmm. So, um, in, in general, um, we have the same timelines and uh, it works a, a little bit uh, the same way, details in, in towards the end of June, but um, uh, so there will, won't be a, a digital fair and a physical fair that don't go to, into each other, but when you have meetings, of course, you have, can have two physical meetings and the third meeting is a digital meeting and the, the next one is a physical again. That's the, the uh, idea behind it. and. Um, as we are in living in dynamic times, I think this is a model that will go on uh, for the next years. Yeah, but booking the meetings as well, um, we are going to open up, as I told you, uh, the digital tools um, um, like four to six weeks before Frankfurt. So you can start scheduling new meetings if you want to use this tool by then. Um, I have two more questions now. There's um, the question, will the digital offerings also be free to people who have booked a table in the Litag? Yes. Right. Uh, and then I have a question in the chat about the International Kultur Festival on Saturday. Will it be a mix of digital and physical events? Yes, it will be a mix. Um, as we can't use that big space. It will be a mixture of, of events taking place in uh, Frankfurt and in other cities, um, as well as digital formats. And uh, what's the nice thing about that, uh, that we will have a, um, that we are planning a much bigger um, um, part in uh, English language. So it will not only be a German, a German speaking literature festival, but an international festival. And uh, the main day is um, the main digital day, uh, or the main fest day is on Saturday. We have events going on on Sunday and, and on Friday as well, but the Sunday is the main day with the digital digital line. Okay, so so Sunday is the main date for the no. digital event. Saturday, so, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Right, did I, right. Just did I say me. Sunday? Sorry. Saturday right. from the early morning to midnight. Right, right. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, I don't have any questions right now. Maybe Claudia, who has joined us a bit later, do you, um, would you like to comment or or um, or add a remark on 
Yeah, maybe I uh, would like to add that if you have any, I mean, any further questions, come back to any of us. But if it applies to you, we also have our offices in different parts of the world, our German book offices in Russia and in China, in India, and in New York, of course, and representations for South America and Southeast Asia. So all of us will be happy to help with any information we have and we'll also celebrate Frankfurt in our offices digitally as well as physically <laughs> if yeah. possible yeah yeah well thank you very much uh, for for being here with us today and we hope th that we could answer as many as the questions as possible and if you do have any uh, more please as Claudia mentioned earlier please do not hesitate and contact us at any time um, and I still wait if, if there are any other questions now that you would like to ask, uh, please go ahead. Um, we will also have a session in the afternoon starting at uh, 3 p.m. this afternoon, Frankfurt time. Um, oh, I see there's a question coming in here. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Um, um, and yes, so stay tuned. We will, as I said, we will communicate um, very regularly. We will have Q&A sessions. There's also a Q&A sheet on, the, on, on our website that you could, um, uh, that will be uh, updated uh, very regularly. So please feel free to, to check there. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for joining us. And thank you to all the panelists today. And yeah. see you in Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Yes, thank thanks you. so much. Thank you. Thank you. See you in October in Frankfurt. Yes. Talk soon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.